It seems like the crypto market is going through shifts every single day, and let's just say that recent developments are not looking good, making people wonder whether blockchain technology is the future of money. With the crypto exchange FTX almost collapsing, sending the market into a frenzy, what does the future hold for cryptocurrency? Stay tuned as we talk about all of this and more. First up, a deal gone wrong. Binance is the world's most widely used crypto exchange, with millions of people trusting the platform. So, the news made headlines when Binance announced that the company was all set to acquire its biggest rival in the game, the quickly rising exchange FTX.com. The deal was done, and everything was in place when Binance decided to walk away out of the blue. Their reason is that FTX had some issues with their finances and some regulatory investigations that are now being made regarding the company's inner workings. And while this might sound like a problem to be handled between the two companies, for an already shaken crypto market, the deal falling through has had massive implications on the entire ecosystem, with Bitcoin going down to the lowest level it has been in two years, and the plunging token values have even the most avid supporters wondering whether investing in crypto is worth it, followed by what went down with the deal. According to Binance, the company was reportedly worried about FTX's financial health. According to the exchange, they agreed to buy FTX's non-US unit, but the due diligence was still pending before the deal went through. For those who don't know, Binance and FTX have been the most high-profile rivals in the crypto industry. So, when Binance announced that it would sell its holdings of FTX's digital token, known as the FTT, reports of a liquidity crunch wreaked havoc in the market. According to Binance, FTT has lost almost 80% of its value this very week, and while the company has signed a letter of intent to buy the firm, they had the option to pull out any time. So, that's what they decided to do. Moving on to the aftermath. When Binance founder Cheng Peng Zhao, or CZ, as the world of crypto calls him, My name is CZ. Um... Um, yeah, so I grew up in China. Announced his pulling out of the FTX deal on Twitter, and that was enough for a larger debate to start going around. Following his tweet, the crypto news outlet Coindesk posted a story saying that Alameda Research, a trade house owned by FTX founder Bankman Freed, um, and I think that, like, doing what we can to support... ...had many of its assets in the infamous FTT token. This led people to question FTX's overall financial health. Soon enough, investors started withdrawing their money. The exchange experienced around $6 billion worth of withdrawals in three days, and the token's value plummeted. In the wake of all of this, Binance claimed that they pulled out of the deal because the issues were beyond their control because they had discovered FTX's dirty little secret. They had little to no cash reserves. But that's not all. In addition to discovering a gap between FTX's liabilities and assets, U.S. regulators are investigating whether the exchange has handled customer funds fairly. So, it's safe to say that this situation is not untangling itself anytime soon. Next up, why is FTX so important anyway? Headquartered in the Bahamas, FTX is one of the biggest international crypto exchanges alongside Binance. The company is important because, alongside its biggest rival, it processes most of the crypto trades that occur worldwide. Why? Because it's a platform that people trust. But the problem is that most of the money that flows through these exchanges is largely unregulated, which means that the crypto market generally can be sent over the edge at any given time. Let's talk about what this means for the market. Of course, this situation has led to uncertainty for people who have invested money in the crypto market. With the plummeting of the FTT coins followed by Bitcoin, this is a domino effect. FTT collapsed by more than 70% on the first day and 40% on the next, leading to almost every digital coin losing value. Bitcoin fell by 14%, the biggest loss that the coin has experienced since November 2020. And because that was in the middle of a pandemic, things aren't looking so good. For FTX users in particular, the future is unclear. Clients have already pulled out $30 million worth of Bitcoin in about four days, and this number is only expected to go up if the situation doesn't improve drastically. At the same time, online trading platform Robinhood lost more than 19% of its stock market value, while cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase fell by 10%. Coming up, Bankman Freed's sweeping statement. Sam Bankman-Fried is one of the biggest and most celebrated personalities in the crypto world. He had a 53% stake in FTX, worth $6.2 billion before recent events, with his crypto trading house Alameda Research contributing $7.4 billion to his fortune alone. With the deal falling through, Bankman-Fried is expected to be completely wiped out. For now, both FTX and Alameda are given a $1 value, which means that this was a 94% loss, a record collapse to have ever been experienced among billionaires as reported by Bloomberg. Bankman Freed has always been known for his generous yet outspoken nature. I think I would not trust him to practice, that I would do a good job. So I agree with you on all of that. 
He has helped many struggling firms with his expertise, but his moves failed regarding his own. While FTX did seem to be thriving for a while, people believe that Bankman Freed's sweeping statements are now coming to bite him. Most crypto exchanges will fail, claimed the founder in one of his recent interviews, and it seems like his own exchange is next on that list. Let's talk about how FTX might be headed toward bankruptcy. First up, Bankman Freed raises alarm for bankruptcy. In the wake of all of this, it doesn't come as a big surprise, but it is still enough to leave everyone confused. After Binance bailed on its FTX takeover and cited finance issues as one of the major reasons behind its withdrawal, Sam Bankman-Fried has been trying to warn investors of potential bankruptcy. According to the founder, the company must file for bankruptcy if it doesn't receive a cash injection soon. Bankman-Fried has claimed that the company is facing a deficit of around $8 million and that staying solvent requires at least $4 billion. And at this point, it's obvious that FTX is desperate for any help they can get. So, they are currently seeking funding in the form of either equity or debt. In the words of Bankman Freed himself, he had up and would be incredibly grateful if his investors could step in to help. Bankman Freed, who was once worth $26 million, is now begging for help with the uncertainty surrounding his firm in the crypto market. Not only has this put the fate of the investors and lenders in jeopardy, but this will also mean that billions of dollars in client money will be locked up during the bankruptcy proceedings. And that is not a good look on the exchange that's already struggling to stay afloat. Now for Bankman Freed in the face of defeat. The call to his investors occurred before Binance announced its decision to walk out of the deal. According to witnesses, Bankman Freed was positive that the deal was going through no matter what. He repeatedly reassured the investors that Binance wasn't pulling out, only for Binance to pull out an hour later. Bankman Freed himself went on the record to talk about how the company had witnessed a giant withdrawal surge, and while daily withdrawals normally ran to tens of millions of dollars, billions were unheard of until now. Currently, the investors for FTX include Sequoia Capital, BlackRock Inc., Tiger Global Management, and SoftBank Group Corp. But Sequoia is now trying to find a way to recoup its investment before things get too messy. The day after Binance pulled out, though, Bankman Freed apologized for his failures, saying that he was wrong to have assumed that the exchange would never face a liquidity crunch. Lastly, the crypto contagion. Crypto market capitalization fell by 8.8% in the wake of the FTX and Binance situation. Because FTX was such a prominent name in the game, traders immediately responded to the company's liquidity issues, and capitalization slid from over $1 trillion to $900 billion, which which is a big plummet. In the wake of all of this, experts expect possible contagion risks that might be destructive to the market. The overall sector fell almost 5% in the 24 hours following the announcement, and according to CoinMarketCap, any company with links to the FTX now has to prove its liquidity. Experts believe this will lead to an extended crypto winter when asset prices plummet and the market performs poorly. And by the looks of it, this crypto winter is the worst. That's a wrap for this video. So, what do you think of the recent developments in the crypto market? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.